Did you have any, did anybody here have like a category of like childhood obsession where you knew the facts and you were like, actually the largest land mammal is, you know, that kind of, that kind of business. Anything you went hard on? Not for facts. No hard on facts? Okay, everybody. <laughs> no, I was like deeply into things, but I don't know that I was deeply into learning things about those things. Like mm. I loved dinosaurs and I, I knew, I think I could tell you what a lot of them were called, but I wasn't particularly interested in acquiring like science dinosaur facts. I was more about like, give me an action figure of this dinosaur so I can make it go on an adventure sure. in a sandbox. I um, think... Uh, well, I mean, I, the, the irony is that the interest that I had when I was like a kid, I still deeply have like the, like sure. the interests have not changed. Um, but I definitely knew a lot about weather and I still do. So I that's think, a great one. Like, so oh, yeah. Weather, well, tornadoes. what, what are the big white fluffy things called? Then? Uh, depends on what kind of cloud you're talking about. Okay. Well, Dana, okay, tell, she knew, me, she knew tell me the difference between a typhoon and a hurricane. Okay. Typhoon is, uh. Uh, like you know, uh, a typhoon is like b- based on location. So hurricanes are on, in the Atlantic, and typhoons are in, in the like Pacific? the Pacific. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they also spin differently because oh. of you know it's like when you go to Australia and the toilet water spins in a different direction. It happens to me every time I go yeah. to Australia. Yeah, it always happens. Yeah. So that's the difference. It's not an. It's not any. Um, it's not about the storm itself. It's just about the location. Okay. Yeah. What about a monsoon? Monsoon is just um, the time, or like it's a, it's a storm that happens at a particular uh, time of year. So, and it's like mostly like precipitation. So like a lot of rain will just like dump out of clouds. So there's like monsoon season in the Southwest here. So like Las Vegas gets a monsoon season. And it just means like a lot of moisture, just dumps a ton of water. You get flash floods no fun (laughs) okay and what about (laughs) I'm surprised how much of these is location based which I think I knew from looking up before like obviously like uh, a nor'easter is something in the northeast and that's and that's how it spins in so that actually comes in literally from the northeast rather than coming in from like you know west to east so it actually spins kind of like down and over the uh like to Specifically, like New England, typically gets them because they're in the Northeast. But it comes in from the from in from the ocean rather than coming from west to east. Okay, and cyclone versus tornado. Oh, cyclones and tornadoes are completely different. A cyclone is like essentially like a typhoon. It's like the same difference. Uh huh. Um, but a tornado is like land on. Or it can it can I, be a water tornado. But you know what? What's interesting is that you can have um a water spout that is not tornadic and. And sometimes it can be tornadic based on the the clouds, essentially, the, the storm. Okay, but what is the difference <laughs> between a snowstorm and a sandstorm? Um, one is made of snow, okay, one's but like, made of sand. You can put down between, your hands. Okay, but like... What is a snowstorm? A storm. As that, opposed to a sandstorm. A storm. One has snow, one has sand. Right. Put but like, down what is the your hand. What is the, put down your hand. Excuse me. One has snow. You said one that has we sand. could ask questions. I've already answered your question. Okay, but I have a question. Okay, you know snowstorm. Yes. And you also know sandstorm. I'm losing my temper Okay, but what is the difference? I've already said. There's something you should know about me. Sometimes I get tornadic. Okay, what does that mean? Sometimes I get tornadic. Sometimes I get tornadic. Sometimes I get No, Flynn, not you, Flynn. Put your hand okay, down. Okay, well, nobody Flynn. else seems to have questions. I have 
Let's see. Totally didn't. Yeah, I did one more. Could you possibly ask? You used it. You're not supposed to use the word in the definition of the word. And I was like, what is the difference between a snowstorm and a sandstorm? And you were like, one has snow and one has sand. And I don't know what that means. Do you know? And that's not what snow is. No, snow is when water freezes, when it falls from the sky, when the temperature's below 32 degrees. Isn't that just convenient? Is he always like this? Should I just send him to the office? Or is it just because I'm a sub? He's always like this. He's always like this. He's always like this. He's always looking for some conspiracy. He really like holds it up and asks the same question like a thousand times. And I'm like, can we just read by the great horn spoon? Not in this class, obviously. But maybe we could. Why wouldn't we read it in this class? Isn't this a science class? This is just a fourth grade class, I assumed. Okay. (laughs) Then yeah, we would read it here. If it was a science class, that would be weird. I felt like... Based on the questioning, we were maybe in a situation where we are not yet transitioning from different teachers for for different classes. Yeah, for sure. I sort of said, no. That's what it is. It, that and that's how it felt. That's to where me. And, and it should have felt that way because that's where it is. Great. That's how it felt. 